Suppose the employees are paid on an hourly basis and per hour rate is different based on whether they work on a weekday, weekend or a holiday. So we must calculate the total number of hours worked by an employee on working days and weekends and holidays separately. Work days are defined as days that are not weekends or holidays. List all the holidays in the table holidays. It is just a one field table listing all the holidays. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design. Add the tables employee, hours and holidays. Create a left join from employee hours to holidays to get all the records from employee hours. Drag the date worked field from the employee hours and drop it onto the corresponding field in holidays table to create a join. By default, an inner join is created. To create a left outer join, right click on join line and select join properties. Select option 2 to include all records from employee hours and only those records from holidays where the join fields are equal. Add the fields employee ID, hours and holidays. In the criteria row of the holidays field, enter is null. This limits the employee hours table to list only those dates that do not match any of the holidays listed in the holidays table. In the field row, right click on an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression to get year from date worked. To calculate hours for January 2022, enter 2022 in the criteria row. In the next column, enter this expression to get the month. Since month function returns month's number, enter 1 in the criteria row for Jan. In the next column, enter this expression. Weekday function returns the weekday of the date. By default, Saturday and Sunday are represented by 1 and 7. To return only weekdays in the criteria row, enter this expression. Not equal to 1 and not equal to 7. Run the query. All records where the date work is a weekday are returned. To get total hours, click on totals. In the totals row of hours, select sum. In the holidays, year, month and weekday columns, select where and uncheck show checkbox. Enter an alias total hours for sum of hours. Run the query. The query returns total hours worked in weekdays for each employee. To calculate total hours worked in the weekends and holidays in the criteria row of the weekday column, enter 1 or 7. In the R row of the holidays column, enter is not null. Make sure criteria for weekday and holidays is not in the same row to include weekends and holidays. Run the query. The query returns total hours worked in weekends and holidays for each employee. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.